readers, one of our math centers will be IXL. And I know you have done this last year in first grade, so most of you are familiar with it. However, our new friend Eli, and we also have Journey, who's remote learning, they might not have done IXL. Eli, have you done IXL before? No. No? Okay, no. so he has not done it. So we need to teach him how to do IXL. And it's a little different because you are now second graders. You're no longer first graders. So I want you to make sure that you get to the second grade area. Ellie, you just sit right there, okay, for today. Okay, so when you go to IXL, you will click on your little IXL icon or your little app. Okay, Mrs. Murphy doesn't have an app on my computer. So I still need to show you up here. So I'm going to just pull it up on my computer and it's gonna look maybe a little bit different, but pretty similar. Okay, now you will put in your username. Now I have made little cards for IXL that look like this. And this is what I did, I printed this and I cut them out. So when I look at Aria's card, it has her name, Aria Jurgens. It has her username, A for Aria, J for Jurgens, and then her lunch number. Do you remember that from last yeah. year, Aria? Yeah. Perfect. Then, my lunch number. then your password is just your lunch number. So in case you forgot, I have a little card for you. Now, Eli, you are brand new to our school. So you probably don't even know your username and password. So let's show Eli. Of course I do. Eli, yours is going to be easy. E for Eli, S for, what's your last name, Eli? Sabady. Sabady. So S for Sabady. Not usually just Sabady. Okay, and then your lunch number, 803. And that's going to be your username. And then your password is going to be 803. Okay? So does everybody, except for Eli, remember your usernames mm -hmm. and passwords? Yeah, yeah. probably. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm probably Kinsley. Not I don't you do. Luckily, you just have to put G for Gorskowski. You don't have to spell the whole whole last name out. Okay? Well, there's a couple pages here. Like hers is right there. Look at how long her last name is, but she only needs to put G. So keep going. And there's one more. Addie's way down there. I don't know why she's by third grade because she's not a third grader. But for, hey, I'm third grade. <laughs> for some reason, it went like that. Now we are gonna. Oh, that's the sheet. So Mrs. Murphy also has a sheet. So if you forget, I can just look really quickly, and I don't have to find your card. And these cards are gonna be on the iPad cart because I don't want you to keep them at your desk because you might misplace it and. Most of you have yours memorized. If you happen to forget, these are gonna be on the iPad cart, okay? And I will have a clipboard with them too. So if you forget, you can come ask me too. We are gonna, I'm gonna show you how you can get onto iXL. So I'm gonna use Ingrid as an example because her card is right here. Ingrid, can you tell your friends your username that you would um, put into iXL? IG. IG. And then your lunch number. Three nine zero. Three nine zero. John, will you show Eli where to go? Because he probably doesn't know Mrs. Elm. You're gonna go work with Mrs. Elm for just a few minutes. Now, hey, um, Ingrid's just gonna put her lunch number again, three nine zero, and then she'll hit sign in. Now, when you go come in, remember at the top. You're gonna have some tabs. You can go to Math or Language Arts. We're gonna to go to Math. So click on Math. Make sure you're in Math. Then, do you see how she's still in first grade? See how this says first grade math and she still has that little bubble that pops out? She's gonna click on it to make sure she's in second grade. Now, in second grade, Mrs. Murphy always stars the ones that I want you to do. So when I scroll down, do you guys see any stars yet? No. Do no. you see any stars yet? Any stars? Yes. Oh, okay. Guess what? I accidentally stored those. Huh. I must have bumped them. 
I wanted you to, to, to do these over here on D. So can you just ignore these S's? Mm -hmm. And I don't know, I must have bumped them on my computer. I just want you to do the D's. And I'll keep going down, and you can notice there's no more stars, are there? Well, yeah, I'll get rid of that one, too. And this one. Oh, man. I know, you guys. I have money from the two things. John, if you keep doing that, I'm going to put you down. Because your friends can't listen and learn when you're making that noise. So you can definitely do that outside of recess, okay? Okay. So ignore these other ones. I only want you to do D's. So today, when you go back to your desk, the first one I want you to do is D1, which is easy. It's a review from first grade and kindergarten on patterns. So you need to press the speaker if you can't read it. Copy the pattern. So all I have to do is look for this pattern at the top and copy it. That's and easy. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't want that one. And I think sometimes it's really picky if you touch it or tap it. So just make sure you keep trying if it's not working. So on this first one, today all I want you to do is copy this, the pattern that they have given you. So Mrs. Murphy is just checking to make sure you understand what a pattern is. Okay? I want you to get to 100. Did Mrs. Jensen have you get to 100 yeah, last year? Yeah. Good. Because if you get to 100, you will then... We'll wait for Libby to come back. No, Libby, no drinks. We just got drinks when we got in. When you get to 100, you can, or you maybe, you might earn a prize or a award. Did you guys look at your award board last year, mm -hmm. your prize board? So I want you to get to 100, because if you don't get to 100, you don't earn any prizes. So please make sure that you work really hard and try to get to 100. Mm -hmm. And some days we won't get to 100 and you're gonna have to stop, but it's gonna be your job the next time we go on to try to finish them and get to them, get all of them to 100, okay? Lewis, question? Can we look at Ingrid's class? Sure, we certainly can. I was gonna show you that. So on yours, I think yours is actually at the bottom. Your awards are at the bottom or your prizes, but you have that little picture that looks like maybe somebody's celebrating. Please click on that, and it's gonna pull you up to this prize board. Now, I think Ingrid was accidentally still in first grade, if you have your first grade math one up, you can look at it today. Libby is up next. Libby, 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 would you help me? Um, My name is Libby. You can look at it, but I also want you to look at the second grade one. So these are all Ingrid's prizes from last year, which was like a jungle theme. This year in second grade, your theme is the ocean. So all your prizes that you earn will be like ocean related. So it's like an ocean theme. So you might get a mermaid, you might get a shark, you might get a boat, an anchor. So all the prizes on here will have to do with an ocean, okay? So your goal is to get as many prizes by the end of the school year. And at the end of the school year, we'll see who has the most prizes. Okay? All right, any questions? Go for them. Once I get to a full book. That would be awesome, that'd be amazing. That means you work super hard. And then you get Kinsley. How many are there? Well, let's see, there's one, two, three, four, five, oops, six, seven, eight, nine. And I'm using multiplication here. Nine by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine by nine is 81. So you could get 81 different prizes. I thought it was Lewis. just gonna go like random. You can go through any um, The question marks tell you it, you have to master that many skills in that area. So in this area is comparing and ordering in order to get that square. So if you want to get that square, that's what you have to answer. 
there's that many skills in that area. Only three. Yep, only three. This one might be um, names and numbers, multiplication, subtraction of three digits, units of measurement, so measuring. So that's what those question marks mean. Any other questions? Okay, I'm gonna stop my video. My remote learners, you will get your username and passwords sent to you tomorrow so that you are able to also do um, we are going to go to today, what did I say? The D's, the patterns. So remote learners, make sure you go to the D's and see if you can get D1 done and even more. Okay, we'll stop.